So we're working on proofs, trying to prove things are congruent. Here is an example. We are told that AB is parallel to CD. So we should write that down. AB is parallel to CD because it's given. We are told so. <clears throat> what does parallel get for us? Parallel gets us congruent angles. Parallel is all about angles. So we have a line here, a line here, and a transversal. That means angle A is congruent to angle D because of alternate interior angles. <clears throat> hmm. All right, well, we got parallels here and another transversal. So that means angle B is congruent to angle C because of AIA. And we have abbreviations for everything. And we also have a bow tie looking thing, which means vertical angles. So angle CED, CED is congruent to angle BEA because of vertical angles. Vertical angles. Find a dandy. All right, so we got three angles that are the same. Does that get us congruent? No, that's one of the ones that's not congruent. That means they're similar. That means they have the same proportions, but one's a dilation of the other. Um, we need a side. Is there a common side? You know, so we can use a reflexive property. Um, no. Are we told that something is a midpoint or a bisector? That would get us sides being the same. Like if E was the midpoint of BC, we would know that BE and CE were the same. No, we're not told that, and we were given no indication of that. Um, man, are we told that A, B, and C, D? Are the, no, we're not told anything about sides. And we're given no tick marks on there about sides. So, um, not enough info to prove congruent. So, sometimes that happens. Well, let's look at another one. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's go with angle C is congruent to angle B because it's given. Alrighty. So that's nice of them. AB is parallel. CD. Because it's given. Because they tell us so. That's what the triangle's for. Well, remember, parallel is about angles. So that's going to get us angle BAD. BAD. Angle BAD is congruent to angle <clears throat> CDA because of alternate interior angles. I'm going to kind of make a Z or a backwards Z. That's alternate interior angles. Excellent. So we got two angles. Uh, well, they share a side. They share AD. One has AD and one has DA. Um, so AD is congruent to DA because reflexive property, flexive property. That's another way of saying it's the same line in both. Awesome. We have an angle, we've got an angle, and we've got a side. Is it in the right order? Or does it doesn't matter? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Two angles at a side always work, whether it's ASA or AAS. So angle, angle, side. So triangles are the same. Triangle. Oh, let's go. BAD is congruent to C congruent. I know. Little typos. My fingers go too fast. To triangle. I want BAD. So this will be CDA. CDA. Because of angle, angle, side. Excellent. Let's peek at one more if we can, maybe.
Oh, no, that's all we had. So you're looking for reflexive, common sides. You're looking for parallels, for angles. You're looking for bow tie thing, for vertical angles. We don't always have enough information. And you can't just make it up because you want to. There's got to be something there that tells us. That is congruency.